Hey, how's it going? How is everybody doing? Today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. <sighs> Almost halfway through the week. That's good. I'm ready for the weekend. I'm going to have to find out tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, get a hold of my daughter and see if she's feeling better. Um, we were originally going to go see Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania this past weekend, but she wasn't feeling well. So I reimbursed my tickets, got my credits back, and told her I'd check in on her on Wednesday. If she's feeling better, then I would get us tickets again to maybe go see it Friday night. So I've been trying to avoid any spoilers. Any YouTube videos that have anything to do with it, I've been avoiding them like the plague, if you can say that. Maybe that's not a proper word to say in these days. Uh, but it's just a saying. That's all it is. But, and once I find out, because I'm kind of eager to see the movie. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I mean, just as far as, you know, that it's a really good movie. Although I have... I don't know what the I don't know what the end credits uh, were, uh, so don't spoil it for me. Uh, but I know some people were kind of complaining about I guess the the mid credits or end credit scene or something. So it kind of piques my interest even more. But point out, there's a lot of good movies coming out here. Just like over the next few months, we got we got Fast Ten coming out. We got the Flash. There's another one, too, that I saw. I can't remember what it is, though. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I had not, not a bad day. Uh, I, I just got a little irritated a few minutes ago with Kiwi. You know, my lovely dog. Love her to death, but... And I understand. I mean, she's just over two years old. She's got at least a couple more years, probably, of that, that full-on puppy energy and, and uh, misbehaving uh, in her. You know, I know I'm going to just, just going to something I'm going to have to deal with and try to work with and try to train her and uh, make sure she, she knows when she does something wrong, uh, but constructively. You know, be stern with her, but... Not to where she becomes afraid or anything like that. Like I would never, I would never strike. You should never strike your dog. You know, if they do something wrong, don't, don't, don't smack them or hit them or anything. If you're gonna do anything, to it, just to get their attention, just use like the tips of your fingers and just kind of tap them like that, like on their hindquarters. Just not, not to where it hurts. Or anything like that. So you don't want to do it hard. Just enough to just to get their attention. And then they'll associate that with. Okay. I need to pay attention. And then if you use a stern voice. And as I'm not a dog trainer. So so don't think this is just me saying this. This is what I've, I've read. Um, so. But as far as like actual. You know. Striking or pushing your dog around. Stuff like that, any pet. No. That's not the right. And I. You know. I don't. I don't believe in doing that. But, I let her outside. Of course, you know, she's been cooped up in the house while I'm at work. Uh, but, she, you know, she's got her toys and all like that. And she, she's been a really great dog. She Overall, she is. But, again, that pup comes out in her. So, when she was out there, she started running around, running around. And then she found, you know, I was in one spot and started digging. So, I went out and, you know. Snap and got her attention, and, and of course she stopped. And then she ran over and started digging in another spot. And just run. I mean, she would just run around playing. I you know understand that, but you know, you're because she's a fast digger. I mean, the whole. I wish I. I wish I would have had her when I actually put the fence. Well, I did have her when I went to put the fence up, but I wish I could have had her out there digging the holes for the post. Because it wouldn't have taken no time at all. I mean, like in no time, you just have you know, like that deep. 
but it's real soft soil too. It's where flower beds where I've had stuff planted before. So I know that that'll be a little bit easier to cope with. Uh, we get into spring and those those areas are actually got stuff growing because she's she's really good about because when I first got her I had tomato plants out there and she didn't bother them. She didn't try to dig anywhere where there's already plants and stuff like that. So thank goodness for that. It's a work in progress, right? You just got to work with them, and uh, you know, they eventually learn. But anyway, let's open up the mystery mail call from Comic Tom 101. You will find information about Comic Tom 101 and Geek Street down below. Make sure you check them out. If you are a comic book collector or comic fan, and you like getting like variant covers or virgin variant covers, which are basically the, the covers without all the, without the title and all the like UPC code, you know, all that extra stuff on it. It's just basically the artwork of the cover. Or special editions or limited editions. And uh, yeah, this this would be for you. A monthly subscription box. I want to say it's right around thirty some dollars. I don't remember exactly. Um, and you get, I think you normally get five comics, and then normally an art print in here. So, well, this comes very well packed. It comes comes in like a a cardboard mailer, you, uh, you know, postal service mailer, and this nice sturdy box. Which I don't keep, I just recycle those. And then this black mat. So let's dive in and see what we got. Let me see, look. See, you got a handle on it. It's probably a good bag to, to keep. I don't think I ever noticed they had actually had handles like that before. I'm always throwing them away. Maybe I should keep that. That way, when I get around to doing like conventions and stuff, you know, if I save these, then if people will buy some stuff, I'll have a bag I can put stuff in. Okay. Here we go. The first one is a virgin variant. I'm going to guess this is gargoyles. That's, that's what that looks like. A gargoyle. Now, whether it's like the, like the Disney gargoyle, or... I mean, that was, I mean, it's technically Disney, but what was the, uh, what actual, uh, can't think of what the word I'm trying to say, what actual uh, studio did the gargoyle, like, cartoon? Was that Buena Vista, or, I know it was associated with Disney, but I don't, I don't think it was actually under the actual Disney label. Maybe it was, I don't know, it's been a long time, so. All right, so this is a Comic Tom 101 exclusive, which means you can only get it through Comic Tom 101. Exclusive cover. Um, and that's that's what's exclusive. I'm sure the comic itself, you could probably get elsewhere with, like, the, the trade cover on it or other variant covers. But to get it with this cover, it, it's exclusive to Comic Tom 101 and the Mr. Mail Call. And this is Gargoyles number one. Dynamite Comics. And yeah, I think this is the same like Gargoyles I'm thinking of because that that looks like the same font that uh, was on the cartoon. Cool. Always liked that cartoon. Long time ago. That was a long time ago. The one I watched was a long time ago. I'm sure they've probably done other ones since then. Next, we've got Grim. Don't say what number it is. But yeah. Grim. Skeletons on there.
नेक्स्ट व्हाट डू दैट सेइंग निंजा फ्यूर निंजा फंक दैट्स अ वीर्ड कवर Like a very shapely lady in like what looks like a straight jacket, and then she's got some kind of weird like ant ant looking mask on, but it kind of looks like a like a gas mask too with the filters. Yeah. Doesn't say on the front what publisher it is, so let's see. Sitting on the back. What not publishing? This is number two. Comic Con One Hundred One exclusive. Ninja Funk. Next. Oh, we got a DC. The Batman Adventures. Number thirty-six. Really simple cover. Hmm. Looks like this is from October. Let's say a oh oh five. Is that what that says? Very small. Hard to read. Let me use my phone to see if I can instead of open it up and looking inside, see if I can use the camera to blow that up. My eyeballs cannot see that small print in this light. Focus. Yeah, it looks like it's October of 2005 is when that was published. Cool. I like DC comics. I mean, I mean, I like DC everything, but. Like when it comes to other stuff like Funko Pops and when it comes to the movies and TV shows and stuff, I like, I'm more Marvel than DC. But I'm hoping DC will start to garner more of my attention if they get the ball rolling with James Gunn at the helm. So here is the art print. And that is, I'm guessing, a Spider Man. Is that like a punk, punk rock? Spider-Man or something like that. That number three, is that three twenty. No. Looks like it's nine, maybe nine eighty. There we go. The light, was, the light was causing a glare on there. I couldn't see the. The number there was 980 out of 3,000. And the last comic in this month's um, mail call is Patrick the Wolf Boy by Night. All Yeah Comics Group. Number one, $5 is what this costs. That's it should have been there. Five bucks. Hmm. Can't say I've ever heard of this one. Looks like this might be a Comic Tom 101 exclusive also. Patrick the Wolf Boy by Night.
as opposed to a werewolf by night. See what else we got in here. Hold on to that bag. We've got another one of these little digital comics from Scout Comics. We have the recount. Got three of these now. Not of that one. I got three different ones. But. There's another little art print. Looks like we got the Mandalorian, which starts in about a week and a half, right? For the next season. All right, so here this is the March. Shouldn't this be the February one? Right? Because we're in February. So why would it be the March one? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, there's a little, a little QR code do cheat sheet. I might check that out here. Okay, a little bit, but. Alright, there you go. That was it. That was uh, the mystery mail call from Coming Tom 101 and Geek Street for, I thought February, maybe it's March, I don't know, maybe they're ahead, I don't know. But, if you like comics, again, if you like exclusives and variants, this would be a great subscription box for you. Um, or if you just like just comics in general, um, you, get, you get five comics delivered to your door every month. So that's it. Um, I'm not sure what the next thing will be. The next video, I, I should have my Universal Yums box coming here pretty soon, and I know I have a box uh, coming from. I want this stuff. I ordered a a Funko Pop mystery box from them. Um, which was, it's a Kellogg's NFT mystery box, so I, I believe the top hit, or the top box um, is supposed to have I think a like a ticket or a, you know, a, a thing to claim um, the top prize, and a top prize, if you want to call it prize, um, is Five, a set of five of the Kellogg's NFT Funko Pops. So it's like a seven seven hundred dollar value um, that box. So one person's going to come out really well for I believe it's like a seventy five or eighty dollar box. Uh, but that should be coming uh, sometime maybe later this week. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that all notification bell so you'll be aware of any time I put a new video up. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Does not cost you anything, but will definitely help me out, help the channel um, grow slowly but surely. And uh, outside of that, the only thing I love to say is what I always say, look out for yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance at staying safe and healthy. Now I'm going to go down and Make sure that Kiwi understands I am not upset with her. I was just using a stern voice so that she would understand she cannot dig holes in the yard. But outside of that, I'm going to watch the TV, relax, and uh, enjoy my evening. So, see you.